Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the poinsettia table runner. And um, I have found two ways to pronounce the name of this Christmas plant, um, poinsettia and also poinsettia. And I haven't figured out yet which one is correct. So if you know, uh, please let me know. Uh, so we will make this table runner uh, using fillet crochet technique, which is easy, just uh, with chains and double crochets, we can create the image of the flower. And uh, we make it in two steps. So we start with fillet crochet, uh, following the chart to make the flowers, and then we add uh, two rounds of edge using a second color of thread. And my table runner measures it's about 22 inches long. It's about 10 and a half inches wide. And you can definitely make this longer adding the flowers to your table runner. I use crochet thread size 10 and I really like this Golo crochet thread for my finished table runner I used this red one and uh, if you want to make two flowers like I did you will need two balls uh, one has 250 yards and you will need about 300 yards for two flowers in the tutorial, I will use this green color instead. This is also Golo. It's because uh, I find that red color is a little hard to follow on the video. For my table runner edge, I'm using Lisbeth uh, crochet thread size 10. This one is called Leaf Green Medium. It's just because uh, I really like this uh, shade of green so you can use any crochet thread size 10 for that and crochet hook is 1.75 millimeters and this is my chart it has uh, 38 blocks and 88 uh, rows for two flowers. This is a symmetrical pattern and that means it's important to pay attention when reading the chart. So we need to read the chart with this asymmetrical pattern on each odd number row, one, three, five and so forth. It's from right to left and on each uh, even numbered row, two, four, six, and so forth. We read it from left to right. And the chart consists of this, uh, these two types of squares. The white squares are called open blocks and the black squares are called solid blocks. White squares are made with uh, two chains and one double crochet and open blocks and black square solid blocks are made with three double crochet stitches. And because each block is made with three stitches and we have 38 blocks, uh, so we need to start this with 38 times 3 plus 5 chains. 5 uh, chains are for the first open block. This is total of 119 chains. And start with slip knot and chain 119. And looking at the chart, uh, first three rows are only open blocks. 
and first row starts from right to left and I like to put these little arrows here in the beginning of my rows to keep track to start the first row of open blocks we have to first double crochet in a chain from hook one two three four five six seven eight this one this is the first open block and then to continue chain two skip two chains one two and double crochet in the next chain two skip two chains double crochet in the next and repeat this until the last chain and then you can count 38 open blocks and second row also just open blocks to start each next row we first chain five turn and double crochet in the next double crochet stitch And then continue open blocks chain two and double crochet in the next stitch And to finish each row, the last open block and the last double crochet, count the third chain from the stitch. One, two, three. And row three also make all open blocks so start the same with five chains then turn and double crochet in next double crochet chain two and double crochet And again, I finish the row, two chains, and then double crochet in third chain from the stitch. And now row four from the left. First we do, this is here, 18 open blocks. Then we do one solid block and then 19 open blocks so I made 18 open blocks and next is one solid block so we'll do uh, two double crochets in the next chain space and one in the next stitch so three double crochets for solid block and now rest are again just open blocks 19 here next is row 5 from the right so here we do 18 open blocks then 2 solid and 18 open 
and I made 18 open blocks now it's two solid blocks so here above the open block I do again two double crochets in a chain space and one in the next stitch and then second one above solid block on previous row we just double crochet one in each stitch so three double crochets and so for two solid blocks we made six double crochets and the rest of the blocks are open Row 6 from the left starts with 17 open blocks, then 2 solid, 1 open, 1 solid, and 17 open. So after 17 open blocks, we'll do 2 solid. So again, first one above open block is two double crochets in chain space and one in the next stitch. And second solid block above solid block, make three double crochets, one in each next. Then one open block, chain two, then skip next two stitches and double crochet in the next. And one solid block, double crochet two in a chain space and one in the next stitch. And continue, make 17 open blocks. row seven from the right first is 16 open blocks uh, one solid two open two solid and 17 open after 16 open blocks it's uh, one solid so two double crochets in chain space and one in the next stitch then two open blocks chain two skip two stitches double crochet in the next and second open block chain two double crochet in the next stitch and now two solid blocks both above solid blocks so that means we just double crochet in each stitch here and you can count six for two blocks. Two, three, four, five, and six. And continue with open blocks. Next row eight from the left starts with 17 open blocks, then one solid, four open, one solid, and 15 open. 17 open blocks, then one solid, so three double crochets. And then four open. First one is two chains, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next. And then chain two, double crochet in the next. And same for the third open block. 
and fourth one again chain two skip two stitches double crochet and one solid block two double crochets and chain space one in a stitch and now finish with all open blocks uh, row 9 starts here with two open blocks then one solid 12 open blocks one solid four open one solid and 17 open I'll start this with two open blocks I chain five turn double crochet and one more open and now one solid And next I will do 12 open and next is uh, one solid block three double crochets then four open blocks one solid and finish with all open blocks and row 10 16 open blocks then two solid five open one solid this is 10 open, 2 solid and 2 open. I did 16 open. Next is 2 solid blocks. Now five open one solid then I'll do 10 open and then two solid can count here again six double crochets for two solid blocks and finish with two open and row 11 has more solid blocks and starts with two open blocks 
then one solid, one open, this is nine solid blocks, one open, one solid, five open, two solid, three open, five solid, and eight open. So I'll start with two open, and then I'll do one solid. One, two, three double crochets. Now one open. And now we have nine solid blocks. So these are easier to count. They're all above open blocks. Or well, you can also count your double crochets, 9 times 3, 27 double crochets. After 9 solid block I'll do 1 open and 1 solid. Then five open, And then two solid. So here we have, we can do two, uh, six double crochets. Next is three open blocks. five solid blocks and then finish with the rest of them open blocks and row 12 starts here with six open blocks three solid three open five solid six open four solid this is eight open, one solid, and two open. We did six open, now three solid. And you can count nine double crochets. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and next is three open blocks all above solid blocks. So chain two, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next, chain two, skip two, double crochet. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet. Now five solid blocks. Next I will do six open blocks. And now four solid blocks. You can count twelve double crochets. 
first three here second solid block here two more so six more double crochets and six and then eight open blocks most of them here above solid blocks so we do the two chains skip two double crochets and double crochet in the next Eight open blocks and then one solid and finish with two open and now continue the rows same way uh, next is 13 from the right and this is my bigger charts of uh, one flower here is the full chart with two flowers so the same way continue and finish all the rows all the way up here and you end again with three last rows open blocks only here is my finished red table runner so I cut off thread and fasten off here and next we will do two rounds of edge I made a slip knot with my second color. I'm going to join it here in this upper right corner where I finished with my first color. And first insert your hook through the stitch here on this corner open block. Then on the back insert it through your slip knot of second color and pull it through now chain three and this counts as first half double crochet in one chain and now we are going to do two half double crochets together on this first round so i'm going to yarn over insert hook in that same stitch pull up loop then yarn over again insert hook in that next stitch pull up loop now you have five loops on hook yarn over and pull through all of them this is two half double crochets together and then chain one now I'm going to insert my hook in the same stitch as the last, so right here, pull up loop, yarn over, then insert hook in the next stitch, pull up loop, have five loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain one, again, yarn over, insert hook in same stitch as last, Yarn over, insert in the next stitch, five loops, yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain one. I'm trying to keep these stitches quite loose. So this first round wouldn't be too tight. And now keep doing this until the corner. And in the corner, so after these last two half double crochets together, chain one. And then I start again half double crochet in same stitch as last. 
and then I start my second one insert hook in uh, middle stitch here of this corner open block and finish your two half double crochets together as before and now I chain two then insert hook in the same stitch as the last stitch then I already turn starting the long side here insert hook in that first stitch pull up loop finish two half double crochets together and chain one now continue same the two half double crochets together chain one The next corner this is where I started the fillet crochet part this is my beginning tail here so just wanted to show the corner again it's chain one start the first half double crochet and then the second one try to find the middle stitch here of that beginning block Then chain two, then insert hook in the same stitch, and now insert in the next stitch here on that. This is the second short side, and chain one. And here continue the same and let's do the last corner together so I did here uh, one chain going to insert a hook in the same stitch as last yarn over then find a middle stitch here in this corner block insert hook pull up loop and finish the two half double crochets together then I chain two and now we have to connect to this uh, beginning chain here we did so I'm going to first insert hook in a same stitch as last and now insert hook in a beginning second chain and yarn over on the back and pull through all your loops and hook and this is how we finish the first round to start the second round of edge first I'm going to slip stitch in that next chain space then chain one and single crochet in same space now double crochet inserting hook in that next one chain space chain double crochet in the same space and then I'll do three chain pico one two three and slip stitch inserting hook through these upper loops of the double crochet chain and double crochet one more in the same space single crochet in the next chain space and now repeat in the next 
space, double crochet, chain, double crochet, three chain pico, chain, and double crochet. single crochet in the next space And here I'm at the corner, this is the two chain space. So I will just do the same in here. Double crochet, chain, double crochet, then pico, chain, and double crochet. And then Turn sideways, work the long side, repeat the same, single crochet in next chain space and double crochets in the next. And to finish I made the last double crochets and the pico here in this corner, two chain space. And after last double crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch in that first beginning single crochet. And we're done. Cut off the thread. Fasten off. And now weave in all the ends. And this is how it looks after I'm finished crocheting. So it definitely needs blocking now to give it a nice shape. So I will uh, first make it wet, then stretch it out on my blocking mats, attach with pins. I like to use some spray starch to give it extra firm shape and then let it dry. I will show you next how I block my table runner. Here is the finished table runner and it looks great after blocking. And I hope you have fun making your own poinsettia uh, table runner. You will find a link to written pattern and the graph in video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting!